watching Let's Chat. If there's one thing we know, it's that events must go on, and even if they look a little bit different in light of the COVID-19 pandemic, and no exception is the Austin Hatcher Foundation for Pediatric Cancer and their annual virtual celebration of life and hope. Well, it's not virtual annually, but it is this year. Here to give us the information is Miss Julia Becker. Good morning, Julia. Good morning, Jess. Thanks so much for having me on. All right, tell us a little bit, remind our viewers about the Austin Hatcher Foundation for Pediatric Cancer. Absolutely. We are located here in Chattanooga, and what we do is treat the effects of childhood cancer. So we see patients from all walks of life, all throughout their cancer journey, really not treating cancer, but helping them with the side effects from chemotherapy or missing school or just that stress of dealing with their illness. Um, so we see kids of all ages, and we help them right here in Chattanooga. Absolutely. You do such great work, and you affect so many families here in our area. All right, now the Celebration of Life and Hope is an annual event for you, um, but it's going to look a little bit different this year. Definitely. This is our 13th annual event. We're so excited that we could even continue having this with COVID. Um, but the virtual event will be very similar to kind of that program portion for guests who have attended our event before. We'll have a tour of our new facility. We actually just moved uh, here in June, and we'll be able to show kind of a little insight into the services we provide. People will be able to hear from families to see the real testimonies from the impact that we're able to make and also hear from this year's co-chairs. Perfect. All right. And one thing that we always look forward to is you usually have an honoree and you share a story and you honor an individual at each event. Who was the honoree for this year? Can you give that away just yet? Yes, I can. This year's honoree is really special. It, she is Simone Otterman. She's actually the daughter of our co-chairs this year, Mike and Tracy. And Simone passed away to cancer five years ago uh, from the effects of cancer, but we are able to honor her life this year. And Mike and Tracy are able to share their story and really just um, share the impact. They helped us come up with this year's theme, which is building dreams, healing hearts. And that really encompasses the two things that we do at the Austin Hatcher Foundation. We are here to help the children who survive, but then also be there for families who experience loss from pediatric cancer. So this event every year is a very touching, a very heartwarming event, and you leave with a new, um, just a new thought process. I'll put it that way, I should say. All right, and with this year's event, you're including a pre-party. Uh, tell us a little bit about that information. Correct. So the pre-party will be on September 25th. It's two weeks before the celebration of life and health, which will be on October 10th, the virtual. And we just wanted to have a very small, limited ticket uh, gathering for those who do want to be able to join safely. We'll have social distancing in place, as similar to going to a restaurant. Um, but we just wanted to be able to give people a way to come in, see our space, have a tour, see our amazing occupational therapy room with the gym equipment and our music therapy room and just really see the impact that their contributions make this year. Perfect. So there is the opportunity for the small, the limited um, in-person event that's going to be happening a little bit ahead of the virtual event again, September 25th. How do we need to get tickets for that event? Everything is on celebrationlh.com, whether that's registration for the virtual event or tickets for the pre-party or just learning more about the event itself. It's all right there. All right. And again, the virtual event is happening on October uh, the 10th, correct? Correct. Yeah. Perfect. And this is what I love. You can enjoy it from your home. You can dress up with your date if you want to, or you can enjoy it in your pajamas and slippers. Absolutely. That's the fun of a virtual event. Nobody knows what you're wearing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Grab your friends and host the party at your home if you want to. But be sure to join in with the pre-party and the virtual event. Again, tickets are on sale now. You can visit celebration of L or celebrationlh.com for the celebration of life and hope. Again, an annual event that is not to miss, and I'm sure it will not be any less exciting and any less special this year.